Hi guys, I'm so happy to see you. Welcome to my channel. As you know, I'm a certified leadership coach, a practicing physician and a leader. I'm talking to you about imposter phenomenon today, something that I see a lot in leaders I coach. So let me ask you, do you ever feel fake like an imposter when everyone around you seems confident and sure of themselves? Are you sometimes afraid of being discovered as a fraud, like a person who doesn't deserve the title or success you own? Guys, we all doubt our abilities from time to time, but imposter phenomenon is extreme self-doubt that paralyzes us. We cannot take action. Why do we feel this way? Is it because of negative experiences we've had while growing up? From my previous video, you know that familial upbringing is a key factor. Well, there is more to the imposter story. That's what we are talking about today. Guys, I have created a number of videos in this playlist for you. Check out the link in the description below this video. So let's get started now. Imposter phenomenon affects people who are famous and successful. People like Howard Schultz, CEO of Starbucks, Tina Fey, Lady Gaga. If you ever feel the same way, you are in good company. But why do you have these feelings? Guys, we have a natural tendency to compare ourselves to others. How many times do you enter a gathering and notice what everyone else is wearing? We constantly evaluate ourselves in physical attractiveness, wealth, intelligence, and success with others. Comparing our abilities to others is natural. It can be useful to look up to others, to learn from them, or even set goals for your performance. But obsessive comparison is a trap for many reasons, as I talked about in my earlier videos. Comparison triggers imposter feelings. You begin to question your own abilities. You may think, I'm not as good as they are. I better lay low. You sabotage yourself. With social media on our fingertips, comparison is happening in real time all day long. I go to social media maybe once a week for a few minutes to check my own videos. But even in those few minutes, I get sucked into a comparison trap with other creators and it kills my joy. I should be happy with what I have accomplished, but no. I begin to question my own ability. Seeing other people's success creates an unrealistic standard for our own achievements, leading to feeling of inadequacy and imposter feelings. Plus, it triggers envy, a nasty emotion we should never entertain. So guys, shut down those social media apps, delete, 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 or go on a mountaintop where there is no Wi-Fi. Social media feeds high octane fuel to your imposter. One request, please continue to watch my videos. In fact, help me go viral. Yes, I'm being selfish. And thank you for watching. Next, let me talk about culture of perfectionism. Societal emphasis on perfectionism and high achievement can fuel imposter syndrome. Some parents push their children to enter competition, debate, swim team. Then there are beauty pageants for kids. Toddlers and Tiara was an American television reality show in 2010. The show received sharp criticism because of too much emphasis on physical appearance. It set extreme expectation for our young kids. These kids often grow up to have imposter feelings. Anika Wooten, the former Miss Kansas who represented Kansas at the Miss America competition, talks openly about how imposter syndrome has hit her heart. Guys, Constantly running to win the game and the fear of making mistakes can be counterproductive. This pressure contributes to the feeling of being an imposter. Given the elevated expectations and rates of perfectionism found in my profession, medical profession, it is not surprising that there is high prevalence of this phenomenon amongst those in the medical profession. My daughter, Dr. Apurva Sharma, and my medical students who are highly successful show signs of imposterism at times. Do you know some of my students hesitate to ask me for a stellar recommendation letter because they are not so good. My dear students, I will give you stellar letter because you are stellar. 
Please know that you are the best, so learn to value yourself. Imposterism is also a significant contributing factor to burnout in our community. I see imposterism in physician leaders I coach, both genders, men and women. Lastly, people from marginalized groups, underrepresented minorities like African Americans, Latinos, Asians like me, LGBTQ communities have high incidence of this phenomenon. There's a whole body of literature to support this. We need to promote culture of inclusivity. Lupita Nyong'o confessed to having imposter syndrome. Not sure if she had it because she's a minority or because she's too successful. Because both can feed imposterism. So why the hell we have imposter feelings? The answer to this question is so complex, it boggles my mind. Familial upbringing, societal conditioning, comparison to others, culture of perfectionism, high profile professions like entertainment industry and medicine, and being from marginalized group are some contributing factors. Please read this book if you want to know more. Own Your Greatness. This book by Lisa Aubrey Austin is a workbook. It will help you understand and beat your own imposter. Michelle Obama says, my imposter syndrome never goes away. I agree with Michelle. I feel the same way. But guys, we can learn to manage our imposter. So stay tuned for my next videos, how to manage the imposters. You can take charge. You can beat your imposter.